Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's K Christine. If y'all would like to see how I got this neutral glam eye look, just stay tuned. So I'm starting off with the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. I'm going to take the shade Rift, which is a medium brown shade, and I'm going to use that as my transition color. So you'll see, see me putting that in my transition area and just blending it out. Next, you'll see me going in with the dark brown shade and it's punk and I'm going to use that shade as my outer V. So you'll see me press in that shadow in my outer V area just to create some more dimension and then I'll also blend it into my crease to deepen up my crease as well. Once we have a good base going, I'm taking the LA Girl Concealer in the shade Warm Honey and I'm going to use that to carve out my lid. So you'll see me taking that concealer shade and just carving out an area where I want to put my lid color. This way the lid color will be more vibrant and pop out more. Next, I'm taking the Champagne Pigment from MAC, as well as the NYX Glitter Glue. Um, I'm going to use that NYX Glitter Glue just to create a base for my pigment to stick on. So you'll see me putting that on with a flat brush, just adding that glitter glue on top of where I had my concealer. And then I'll go back and put on the actual pigment on top, on top of that. Thank you. 
Now I'm taking a um, napkin just to get the excess glitter, um, the excess glitter from underneath my eye. You can use a napkin or a makeup wipe just to clean up any fallout that you may have had from your shadows. So now we're starting on the face, going in with my favorite MAC Prep and Prime highlighting um, pen. It is in the shade Peach Luster. I use this to, to cancel out any dark circles that I may have under my eyes, as well as any dark marks on my face. So this is really good for color correcting. concealer brush just to blend that all out Now I'm going in with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer to prime my face. Usually I prime before I color correct, but I just forgot this time, so it's fine. You can do it afterwards. And going in with my beloved Smashbox Studio Skin Foundation. This is the shade 4.0. I'm just going to put that foundation on my skin and then buff it in with a foundation brush. I felt that that brush was soaking up a lot of product, so you'll see that I switched to my flat um, kabuki brush to b blend in the other side of my foundation. Now I'm going in with the best concealer out right now. Argue with me. Argue with me. I'm going in with the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in the shade Butterscotch. And I'm using that as my under eye highlighter as well as highlighting the bridge of my nose. And I'm taking my e.l.f. Beauty Sponge and a some Fix Plus from MAC just to dampen that and I'm going to go in and just blend it all out. Now to set, I'm going to use my Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder. I'm taking that same sponge and I'm just going to press that powder into the skin. Now 
now we are taking our Fenty matchstick in the shade Truffle to go ahead and start this contour. I'm taking a small stippling brush just to buff that out. Now I'm taking a small angled brush using that same Fenty contour stick just to go ahead and contour the bridge of my nose. Now to set my cream contour, I'm going in with the Sephora bronzer and I'm going to just go over all the areas that I had my contour just to set it. going to take that over my face this really helps to blend everything together so to blend in your foundation concealer and your contour just to make that all seamless transition i go over with a face powder now i like to spray some fix plus on my face just to get that powdery look off and i go in and dab in the powder once more under my eyes so that it's not powdery under there Now I'm going in with my MAC blush in the shade Raisin and I'm just going to pop some blush on my cheeks to add some color. And the star of the show, the highlighter. Of course I'm using Shayla's Boomin Highlighter from Colourpop. So here's a quick trick, if you happen to overdo it on your highlight, like I do girl, cause you know, 
sometimes you just get beside yourself. It's okay. Just go ahead and take that same powder brush that you had and just go over that highlight. So I am back with the final look. I went off camera and added some lashes. These are the LA Lashes by Lily Lash. Um, I did a chestnut lip liner from MAC and then topped it with Shayla's Neat Freak lip gloss from ColourPop. So this is the final look. This is the quick little neutral glam for the holidays. And I hope y'all like it. If you want to see more videos, just stay tuned. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.